I'm here with Kathleen Carey, 69, from Mercer Island outside of Seattle in Washington, and she is now 90 plus days alcohol free. How are you feeling, Kathleen? You know, I didn't realize uh, that uh, I could feel so fabulous in my life at this age. Uh, I, uh, you know, I found your information online, and one of the things that really uh, supported me was you said the value of being alcohol free. And I knew that I was drinking too much. And when I started, you know, we always have enough time, money and energy for that, which is most important. So you supported me on getting clear of my value, especially at 69, because my number one priority right now is being is my health. And so I'll tell you, being alcohol free has dramatically shifted my health. Thank you. Yeah, oh, you're so welcome. So tell us a little bit about what your drinking habits were over the years that inspired you sufficiently enough to join my Project 90 program, which helps people quit alcohol. So what, what, what were your drinking habits like? Uh, well, I drank every day. Uh, you know, I mean, it progressed over the years. I mean, I, I, I know that uh, I came from a, a family. My dad was an alcoholic. And a couple of my brothers were, I have five brothers. And uh, I, uh, you know, over the years, just slowly to quote unquote, relieve stress, whatever, decided to drink. And I thought that supported me. And then, no, it did not. It did not. And I've been extremely successful. Uh, and it, it just didn't work. And so I knew that, you know, as I am in chapter three of my life, being 69, I got another good 30 years in me, that uh, drinking would not be part of the picture. And so there are no accidents, as I say. So running across your information, I believe it was on Facebook, I said, oh, and you spoke to me. So uh, it has been phenomenal to, uh, and it's challenging. I'm not, you know, uh, kidding anybody, uh, but it's been phenomenal to, uh, you know, work on, and you've got to have your number one priority. What is it? Mine is health. So when, when I have my priority, then it is quote unquote easier. And the other thing that you offer, and I signed up for Project 90, uh, and I teach this, you have got to have support. And if you, if you think you're going to do it on your own, well, good luck to you. And how's that working for you is what I'd say, because it doesn't. I mean, you know, and I'm a rugged individualist. And for years, I did stuff on my own. And I did really well. And uh, now I love being a part, you know, and I teach this too, uh, of, uh, you know, having accountability partners. And that's what you do so well in Project 30, Project 90. Uh, you know, we have like-minded individuals who are on the same uh, team who want to support each other. And so that's why I love the work that you're doing. Thank you so much. And um, what what was your drink of choice for many years, Kathleen? Darling, as a person who ran landmark restaurants in Seattle, uh, I drank buttery Chardonnay. That was it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and and were you drinking? Uh, what is it? Buttery Chardonnay. Were you drinking that nightly when you were in the restaurant business, or was it? Oh, uh, I never drank on the job. Never. Okay. That was just forbidden for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, I would only drink when I came home, which was like, you know, 9, 10, 11 at night. And then I, you know, started running an international training company. So I've been all over Australia, United States, Canada, leading things. And uh, I, um, you know, would drink when I got home. And it, it was, I thought, quote unquote, to relieve stress. And, uh, you know, and I wanted to zone out. Well, you know, how did that work for you, Kathleen? Not too well as I, you know, look back on it. So, yeah. 
And what did your friends tell you or say to you when you articulated to them that you were quitting drinking for these these 90 days and beyond? What was the reaction that you got from your social circle? They were so happy because, well, my friends actually did an intervention with me about a year ago and said, you know, uh, you know, we are concerned about you. We are drinking too much. And that really got my attention because these are people I highly respect. And, uh, and so uh, they are all on my team. And like I said, we've got it. That's what you do so well is, James, is, is you've got, you know, we've got to have a support network. And uh, they support me. And so they, they are on my team for whatever I need, for whatever I want. So, uh, yeah, support makes a huge difference. And like I said earlier, I'm the rugged individualist, and that didn't work too well for me over the years. <laughs> what were some of the results that you achieved or some of the feelings that you felt or some of the things that you've noticed from having this extended period of time now alcohol-free? Uh, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, because I've had, I'm working on reinventing my life. So not only am I decided to be alcohol free with your program, um, I am quote unquote semi retired, which is tough for me because I'm so used to being on stage, working, running a company uh, I want to, not need to, I don't need to do anything. I want to fill my time with uh, uh, things that um, set my, my heart on fire. And so I'm, I'm exploring that right now. And it's a great, like, like I said, chapter three, you know, what am I going to do? But I will tell you, being alcohol-free, uh gives me so many more options and so many more things to do. I, I am so, you know, and I think the big thing is how I feel. I feel happier and, you know, I'm really positive. Uh, and I, I, my health is good. I, you, no one would ever think I was 69. I look fabulous and I'm willing to own that. And, uh, so, uh, you know, and I liked in your book, uh, you know, here's your book. That's what I got. Well, you know, where you were talking about the benefits of being alcohol free. And, you know, it's, you got, you know, it's so important to focus on the benefits. You know, what's the value of doing this? And for me, like I said, number one is health. And then realizing all of the great health benefits I'm getting. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I got another good 20, 30 years in me and being alcohol free, maybe I got 40. No, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, congratulations, Kathleen. And so as we're recording this now, how many days alcohol free uh, are you and what's the plan for the, for the future? Well, let's see. Oh, my gosh. You know, I, I actually stopped counting, but uh, when did we start the 90-day project? I think it was July 1st. So I'm at 100 and what, 1,415? Something like that. You're, yeah. 100, you're around 115 days yeah. out of free. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. And what was the second part of the question? And so what, what is your intention now around alcohol and around your, your life as it, uh, as it relates to socialising with alcohol or coming home for a night uh, at the end of a day and, you know, you ordinarily would drink alcohol. So what's your intention now? My intention now is to reinvent my life. And, and that excludes alcohol. And, you know, my friends, you know, they don't, they're, they're totally in support of me. And if they're not they're you know, I just manage them. You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a problem with people, but everyone's on my team. So having, uh, I, t I have a company called accountability circles. It's a mastermind group 
where we support each other. They all know that I'm alcohol free and they support me in that. And so I, like I said, I'm, I'm reinventing myself. What can I do? What do I want to do? So I'm looking at, you know, I've been asked to do a TED talk and um, I'm doing a lot of speaking at the, like, you know, Kiwanis Club, the Rotary Club, and I love making a difference in people's lives. And it's much easier when I'm conscious uh, to, you know, get out there and promote myself. So I think reinvention is my intention. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And so just finally, someone might be watching this now and they realize that they're drinking too much and they want to make a change. Maybe they've tried AA and they didn't like it. Maybe they've tried brute willpower that hasn't worked. Maybe they're actually scared about quitting drinking forever and that seems like too much of an overwhelming thought right now. What would you say to them in terms of what action would you encourage them possibly to take to try and become alcohol-free or, or to transform their life, essentially? Well, what you're saying is so true uh, because as a person who's led emotional intelligence classes for 30 years in Amazon, Microsoft, major companies, you know, people talk the talk but are ch challenged to walk the walk. And so I would say get crystal clear on your number one value. So my value uh, is uh, health, and I want to be healthy so that I can continue to go out in the world and make a difference and contribute to others, and you've got to have value. If you don't have value, you're going to do the same old thing, and if you always do what, you know, this is an old saying, but if you always do what you've always done, you always get what you always got. And it's tough because it's so easy to go fall back into, I'll just dr drink or whatever. You know, some people choose drugs, some people choose alcohol. And that's an easy escape. But, you know, I would ask, you know, how's that working for you? You know, you got the same old thing you've always had. And is your life moving forward? Are you getting what you say you want? Probably not. So get my number one piece of advice is get crystal clear about your value in, in being alcohol-free. And I did. And once you have value, as I teach, there's always enough time, money, and energy for that, which is most important. It's always about value. You know that. Well, Kathleen Curry, 69 years old and going strong, young, energetic, firing on all cinders, cylinders, congratulations on being, as we're recording this, 115 days plus alcohol-free. Thank you. Super inspiring. You are always so positive in our program. You are helping other members as well, supporting them, and uh, you allowed yourself to be coached. And you were able to, and you also coached other people in the process and inspired those who were coming behind you. So. I just wanted to say thank you for playing Full Out and also congratulations on your alcohol-free journey. Thank you. It's good to talk to you and uh, let's stay in touch. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol-Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word quit guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word quit guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word PROJECT90, that's one word, PROJECT90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One. 
or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop computer? Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you next time.